Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm actually home today, so I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of some of the machines we got going on here. Um, I'm in my little shed that we got here in the backyard. So um, over here, we got my dad's Raptor 660. Um, so I know you guys saw that video of the Raptor 700. This is uh, the models before it. So basically, essentially, it used to be a 660 and then they made the engine a little bit bigger and called it a 700. Um, but yeah, that thing is still massive. Um, somebody keeps leaving the gas on and when you leave the gas on, it doesn't stop leaking gas. So that's pretty nice. But I mean, the thing rips. Um, very fun out in the dunes. So you can see we still got the flag on it right there. Um, yeah, lights work, everything runs great. Overall amazing quad. Um, got a lawnmower right here. This is my brother's bike. It's a 2007 TTR 125. I mean, I know it's a small bike, but I love to ride these kind of things, dude. Like, they're just really, really fun. Something about having just like such a lightweight bike. I don't know, just there's something about it. Uh, my bike's in the back runner here, as you can see, the 493, um, 2001 YZ250. I don't know what else to t tell you about it, but uh, it's got, uh, what are we up to now? 12.8, yeah, 12.8 hours on a full top and bottom and rebuild. Um, running great. I got the paddle right there behind it. Um, yeah, she rips. She absolutely rips. Um, the only reason I'd ever sell it is to get a newer one, um, like an aluminum frame instead of a steel frame. But uh, or maybe there's a possibility I lead the two-stroke gang and go for a 450 four-stroke. So we'll see. They're all really dirty. Um, I love the power wash. It's a little cold, but I could totally power wash it in a matter of seconds. So. Uh, that'll do it for today, I guess, right now at least. Um, I'm sure there's another video coming out later um, with some more riding videos. Uh, once again, I'm sorry that they're kind of just random clips that are going out there, but uh, I'm doing the best I can with what I got and what time I got. So, thanks, guys. All right, guys, we're going to try and take this thing for a little bit of a rip uh, throughout the neighborhood. Um, we'll see how she starts up here. Um, let me see if I can find a good spot to set the camera, I guess. Sure, we'll go with that. So that definitely took a second. It uh, probably hasn't been ran here in a good month or two, honestly. But uh, she's running now. I gotta take this flag mount off and then we'll probably go for a small little rip. So I guess we'll uh, cut right to the, the rip. Alright guys, unfortunately I don't have the ratchet set to take this flag pull off. And I can't get out of the garage because it'll hit the, uh, the garage door. So it looks like we're not going for a ride today, but uh, I guess I'll just show you what she sounds like. Yeah, she's an absolute pain. I will be able to take that for a ride though. I'm going to take my brother's uh, TTR 125 for a little rip here. Do some wheelies, all that good stuff. So I guess that will do it with this for now.
All right, guys, this is my 1985 Honda Spree. Pretty darn near mint, if you ask me. You know, nice and straight, no gaps anywhere. You know, totally no gaps. Uh, definitely, like, just perfect, you know. No, but cosmetically, it may not be great. But this thing runs like a champ never lets me down i mean we had a couple of issues in the past with it um one of which we had the muffler was full of crap um so we burnt all that out of there um the cdi went bad at one point um so we got a new one for like 20 bucks threw it in there and it started all the turn signals work everything works <laughs> it smokes quite a bit um, when you start it up if it sits for a while but uh, once it's warm the thing absolutely just rips so I guess let's see if uh, she'll start up here my guess is it's been probably a week or two since this thing's been started so um, yeah let's do it pulling the brake here flip it to run right up She's a peach, for sure. She's a peach. All right, let's go for a nice little rip, guys. All right, guys, we're ready out here for a rip through the neighborhood. Uh, looks like I got some gas. Also, I hit 10,000 miles this summer on this bad boy, which is honestly really quite impressive. So, all right, let's do it. Gotta get her nice and warm here before she actually runs good. Also, sorry about the wind noise. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a comment if you're curious about anything or subscribe and uh, if you click the little bell thing, you'll get notified whenever I post a new video. So um, I know today was not um, one of the most interesting days. All I did was ride stuff. Uh, but usually there's a lot of things that we can, you know, fix and work on, I guess. Um, as far as my bike goes, I would love to take it for a ride sometime um, on camera, but uh, as you can tell from the ride on the Honda Spree, <laughs> I live in a very residential neighborhood, and uh, people don't really like me when I ride that thing, because she's loud. She's an absolute ripper. So um, One of these days, yes, otherwise I'm just going to have to save it for some track days, or the dunes, or... Trails. I I don't do a lot of trail riding, but uh, I do go to the track a lot, and I do love to go to the dunes. So 
Um, yeah, unfortunately, that's probably going to have to wait until this upcoming summer, summer 2021. So that's a big, tough break. But uh, yeah, anyways, just want to say thank you guys for watching the video. Um, subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks. Have a good one.